Hi, I'm Jane from Hunter Local Land Services and I'm here at Maitland Public School this morning. The school has been involved in the Water Watch program for a number of years. They are located quite close to the Hunter River so they have great access to be able to collect water samples and test the quality of the Hunter River. The students have been learning about the different impacts on the water quality of the Hunter River and how they can all play a part in protecting the health of the waterways. My name is Alison Coombs and I'm a teacher at Maitland Public School. I've been teaching here now for almost 10 years. I've been involved with Jane Lloyd-Jones from the Hunterland um, services for probably about four years now and she comes out and educates the children on the effects of what we do on the waterways. We've we're very fortunate that we can walk, so we've been over, we've done water testing ourselves, we've looked at the environment around there. Um, you know, these guys all live close to it, so um, it's about just, you know, being conscious of it and being involved in accessing um, resources that can help us as well. I wrote this book because I wanted to spread the message that we shouldn't drop our rubbish and put it in the waterways. My favourite page is when the plastic bag meets the fish and the fish tells him how the water used to be a beautiful place but because of rubbish like him it is no longer beautiful. If, we, if you put glitter down the storm drain it will go down to the Hunter River and into Newcastle and into the ocean. It's bad if litter goes down our storm drains because it'll affect all of our fish and sea life. You should wash your car on the grass because if it's on the driveway, the water and the detergent can go down the driveway and go into the drain. Litter is rubbish that people sometimes miss the bin or people just put on the ground that can get washed in the drain, a stormwater drain and get left in our Hunter River and our local rivers.